the game. Okay. Um, there we go. That's what I was expecting to have in my buffer. Set option. UCI variant is equal to give away. And now can we run our test, please? Please don't fail me. Okay. Uh, oh. Um, I probably didn't go far enough. Yes. Yeah, so Every time you see a new game is called, we have to reset the variant afterward. Okay, where have we failed now? Illegal San D5. Okay. So this is where things actually start to get interesting, believe it or not. You probably don't believe me by this point. Uh, so we can set our options for stockfish. UCI variant is going to be value give away. Um, there's our position. And it tells us the uh, Python chess was telling us that D5 was not legal here with white to move. Why would D5 be illegal? Well, because white can play rook takes c6. You can't just push a pawn when rook takes c6. When any capture is legal, you're not allowed to play non-capture moves. Um, so I'm getting the sense that, you know, in fact, it says here still the UCI variant does not match the position. It just says giveaway. Um, mm hmm. So we'll set the variant of as many times as we have to for um, for this to work. It's probably not the right way to do it. But that's okay. Let's try that again. All right. Yeah, that's still an invalid move. We're not getting any error messages about the UCI variant anymore. But I'm confused. Um, well, okay, and it failed the first puzzle also. So where do I go from here? How do I identify why I'm getting the wrong moves back. Is there any way I can like make this way more verbose? Um, Engine.go. Right, how do you, so I wanna look for Grab def go and chess. Um, can look at all the arguments to this and see is there anything whatsoever that looks like show me more information. Not as far as I can see. Um, so. Let's see, is there anything that looks like the word debug? Define debug. Oh, self dot sun. Wait, what? Switch the debug mode on or off. I don't like where this is going. Because that seems to suggest. Yeah, the engine should send additional infos, but I don't know if those are print out or anything. Furthermore, we already removed the debugging information at the request of 
uh, interface developers saying that this is just too much, we don't want it. So, okay. Um, still, I need to try it. Um, Chess.uci.py debug mode with the D. seeing usage of the uh, debug I'm gonna just say I'm just gonna call it debug with an argument of true and hopefully this code will know what to do with that um, where do I even put that in order to enable it And am I sending that debug command to the engine? I think I am. I'm so confused. Is debug something that's sent directly to the engine or is it sent to um, the interface? which has to delegate it to the engine. I'm going to guess that it gets sent directly to the engine. All right. Engine.debug. True. Hopefully that's what we're looking for. Almost certainly it's wrong. Because you can't just code by guessing things. And even if that did get sent to the engine successfully, which we, at least we see it didn't um, fail with some kind of crazy runtime error saying that method or function does not exist. Instead, we just see that uh, we're getting the same output we got last time. Um, Yeah, no, I'm completely at a loss at this point as to how to extract the debugging information. Or really anything of any value using this API. I'm just confused as to the right way to use it. Uh, there is a right way to use it, I just don't know what it is. And I don't have visibility to any kind of debugging information. And I read the readme, and the readme didn't cover this either, so... Um, what should I do? Okay, uh, go read this, because apparently the README isn't supposed to cover everything. There's some expectation that you can at least click on a link and read it this way. UCI engine communication. Um, okay, where do I see stuff about variant? Of course, it's not documented. Um, <laughs> okay, well, let's at least see if there's an example here. Not that I'm seeing. Um, Okay. Are there any command line arguments or anything I can go with um, to get um, 
some kind of logging or really uh, yeah I'm not seeing anything pretty much at a loss which is unfortunate because I know this developer he's really great at communicating with people But my goodness, if I can't figure this out, how can anybody? I guess the README is quite informative. It just doesn't cover some things like, you know, if you're trying to use the library and things aren't working right, what do you do? There's no troubleshooting section. You should just follow the examples and make sure to do it right. Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, there's plenty of examples here too. There's plenty of things for me to go with here. I don't know. I seriously do not know how to troubleshoot this. I guess you could go into the Python code itself and intercept some of the communications and force uh, the application to print out more things. But that requires some level of familiarity with the library itself, uh, which I do not have. Well, okay. Um, I could print out the position, but the position's not the problem. Position's just fine. The problem is that I don't know, well, one, how to introspect an object in Python. Um, which I'm sure is pretty important for using Python, is you have to be able to um, not just understand how to run it, but also how to do useful things with it. Like, I don't know, maybe I could go here and just say print engine. I don't know what that's going to do. I have no idea. Not the faintest clue, because I'm not really that familiar with Python. Okay, so yeah, it says engine object. Um... I guess the engine support isn't, well, I mean, the engine support is fantastic. I'll give it that, but it's, for somebody who sucks at Python, it's just um, challenging to use. APIs are really well explained here except for the one I'm interested in and that's the one to set the variant. Um, <laughs> so what shall I do? Do I just call like engine.uci? That seems kind of unnecessary. Is there anything else here about engines? Not exactly. Okay, to find a callback. Um, that's a great library, I just don't know how to use it. Um, so maybe instead of this, I'll just say print engine dot. Hopefully, this is declared, but I'm still at a loss. Uh, similarly, down here, let's print out the variant. Try that. What do we get? Giveaway is the variant. Position number two. I didn't actually see anything there for position number two. Um, 
that's probably our issue. Is that we still somewhere, somehow, some when, uh, before we go to the next position, we need to do something. Run the actual test. Okay, so we run the actual test, we construct a new board, and then we're doing all this stuff, right? And yet, I didn't see the word giveaway listed here twice. I only saw it once. How does that work? I'm just missing something trivially, stupidly obvious in this uh, script. So, engine EPD move time. EPD is just a the position descriptor. Um, score equals arguments, test EPD, the engine and a move time. Um, yeah, there we're printing out the position, skipping comments, skipping empty lines running the test for each individual position and then so here we construct a new position tell the engine we're playing a new game make sure to let the engine know that the variant is giveaway chess and print out the variant and we should do this each time we have a position And yet, I'm only seeing the word giveaway once. Wait, in set EPD, there's an issue. Illegal sand D5 in that position. Okay, where is that coming from? Parse sand. Line 2845, chess init dot pi. It's possible this might not, this D5 may not be coming from Stockfish. It'd be coming from something else. Um, parse sand token for token and operand dot split. Okay. Test EPD with fractional scores, line 70 of my test. I'm learning how to read stack traces in Python. Um, well, print EPD is an object that's not readily printable, if I remember correctly. For my previous work, I guess this weekend or whatever. So if I say print EPD, uh, I don't need semicolons in Python. Um, Print EPD says best move D5. Okay. I figured out the problem. It's between the keyboard and the chair, guys. The yeah, problem is definitely between the keyboard and chair on this one, and I do apologize for that. Somehow, in the excitement of setting up my environment, I had completely forgotten that I need to specify the test file. Um, which is giveaway.epd. That's entirely my fault. Okay. Um, so now we can start to deal with real world issues. Um, 
such as uh, just really anything that's happening here. We see in many of these positions we are getting a good answer. In some of these we're getting some kind of obnoxious stack, which I'm not sure exactly what to do with. Um, but you know, this is progress. And by the end of the test, we will have a result. The result's probably going to be that Stockfish failed half the problems, and it's not clear why. But yeah, Stockfish seems to be nailing most of them, which is good. Seventy-three out of seventy-three. Um, that's really optimistic, but um, there weren't seventy-three problems. There, okay, there were. Um. What gives? What's this illegal UCI stuff? How is it possible that that's occurring? There are only 73 lines on this file. I don't know. There should be more than that. I was told there were more than that, but I was uh, apparently mista hmm, mistaken. The maximum line number in that file is 73. Okay, so what's the deal here? Push UCI, parse UCI, illegal move, E4, D5, and that. Um, it's a different illegal move in each position. Curiously, that doesn't affect the test. Um, Okay, so where's the issue originating? Um, so in uci.py, which I don't see being invoked anywhere from my code. I'm so confused. How is this possible? What does this mean? In underscore info. I have no idea what would even cause underscore info to be invoked. Uh, let's do a quick comparison of um, these two files. Yeah, the only thing that changed um, was introduction of the lines which specify this is giveaway chess. Um, yeah, I'm just really confused by all of this. How is it that that failed? Like, what's even causing this to be invoked? Oh, all of this erroneous code, which does nothing to cause the test to fail. Um, I just don't get it. Scrolling up just in case somehow the first incidence of this issue might provide more insight than the remainder of them. Sometimes that's the case. Not always. But sometimes... Oh man, that's a lot. I can't even get to the top of all of that. There's just too much. Um, so we're gonna copy uh, we're gonna copy examples that give away to here. Uh, and we're going to replace every line. Oh sorry, the start of every line with comment symbol and that way when we run this um, 
then it'll only run once and will not be completely overwhelmed by the errors. Okay, doing that just once was not enough to cause a problem. Let's take a couple more positions. There we go. Um, now was it number two or number three that caused things to go haywire? Okay, so positions one and two are fine. What if I just do position three by itself? Okay, something is effed with position three. Um, I can't even see like what's causing this. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I. Why is there only a partial stack here? I should see at least that this should trace all the way back to the file that I came from. No? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay, well, let's take a look at this position. Maybe there's some clue here. Doubtful. Uh, uh, set option UCI variant value giveaway. So, uh, forgot that up and down buttons don't work there. By buttons, I mean keys. Set option UCI. Right, okay, what am I doing wrong? Set option UCI variant. Value give away. Am I just terrible at typing? Is that not an option? Oh, set option name UCI variant value give away. Okay, position FBN. Print that out. There's only three pieces on the whole board. Um, there's no more, no fewer, no less than that. Um, and yet when I go to run the test, I get some interesting results, don't I? Something about E3, F3, and what are all these moves? h7 h8 king well, that's not happening well not in the initial position that is part of the main line presumably h7 h8 king is going to happen um <laughs> so the pv could not be parsed this is actually accurate um, not sure why, but yeah, definitely the main line of this position would be, uh, well, it could involve the black pawn taking an F1, and then this pawn promotes to, well, I guess based on what this promotes to, it promotes to something, like if... Black promotes to a rook down here. Ooh, white's kind of in trouble. In fact, yeah, this is black to play and win. Black takes a rook. Um, white pushes. Black does one of a number of things. And based on what white promotes to, black responds accordingly and wins. It's not that difficult. Um... And yeah, one of the more trying attempts for white is to take a king. Um, oh, here's the position where it failed. The pawn on h7, with black having a queen on f1, no, on f2. Um, white to move. So yeah, Python just apparently can't 
parse uh, the UCI strings for some of the moves that the engine gives it. So it doesn't understand the complete main line. But that's okay. The test still. Uh, the test doesn't require the entire main line, it only requires the key move. Um, it's unfortunate that the library doesn't in this particular position understand that a king promotion's a thing. But are these all king promotions? Sirs? Yeah, there's a king promotion. F1 E2 is not a king promotion. But by this point, the engine's or the interface is probably terribly confused anyhow. Um and so yeah, I could patch some of that. Um, I could find a way to, well, yeah, I'd have to set up a test for something like this. Specifically set up this position uh, for anti-chess and see if it can parse that move. Uh, should be able to. I am remembering the rules of giveaway chess correctly, right? Um, view chess variant giveaway. You should be able to promote to a king. Um, Evasions is insufficient material. Generate non evasions. Captures first. Uh, there's nothing here about promotions as far as I can tell. Um, wait. Variant doesn't seem to extend anything, does it? I was just going to look for something called chess.py. Um, it's not so simple. Uh, so where is board declared? Board's got to be here somewhere. UCI.py. Well, no, that's that's not the declaration of board. That's where... Uh, it accepts an argument of a board, but class board is defined in um, init.py. Uh, so we're going to take a look. Um, at init.py. Uh, Actually, we're going to search for promotion in chess. It's probably far easier than what I've been doing. Okay. Um, there's stuff here. There's stuff about hashes. That's wonderful. Um, piece symbols, UCI4. Okay, so yeah, that gets the fifth character out of the string uh, and makes that the promotion piece. CLS is the class. Um, So there's nothing wrong with being able to represent promotion. It's just that um, perhaps promotion moves are not generated 
by the move generator. Um, and therefore might not be recognized as being legal moves. Um, equals piece we move promotion upper, so that prints out the promotion. Uh, right, so at this point it's just figuring out how to render the moves, generate legal moves, it's supposed to generate them. Um, from 960, here's the move class. find this legal move generator there we are we're in check generate evasions else generate non evasions um, not just look where we're invoking that but where it's defined here we go generate peace moves Uh, somewhere here it's got to be doing something about promotions, yeah? Not pawns, all the remaining moves are pawn moves. Two square, yeah, here we are, here we are. Yield, all this stuff. But there's nothing here saying um, yield a king. So there's no king promotions, and that's confusing everything. Um, so I found the bug. That's great. Um, not sure what the best way to fix it is, because, you know, a normal chest doesn't have these um, uh, king promotions. Um, yeah, I think I'll defer to Niklas on the correct way to handle King promotions, but they're definitely part of the anti chess. Okay. Well, we went way down the rabbit hole on that one. I apologize for uh, that digression. Um, let's just be happy with what does work. Um, and yes, uh, the class did notify me that this is experimental and I guess I'm on the bleeding edge and I don't understand Python very well either so um, that's kind of on me uh, 